Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the BNZ. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with confirmation of what we raised yesterday. Telecom is planning a structural separation. That means separating off its network division known as Chorus. Now, yesterday there was a suggestion the government may buy Chorus. John Key came out in a press conference late yesterday and said that the government is not looking to do a deal. Telecom share price fell to $1.96 and it fell to a low during the day of $1.92, although that's ex-dividend. There was a warning too from Standard & Poor's that it may downgrade Telecom's credit rating because of the loss of this monopoly and certainty about its future. Meanwhile, a poll of landlords has found 48% plan to hike their rents this is after the budget decisions to remove depreciation on buildings as a taxable expense. About half of those people polled by Shape NZ supported the budget overall. Meanwhile, news out of Wellington that Terry Sierra Pesos, the property developer involved in The Apprentice, may lose control of the Phoenix. The Wellington City Council is in urgent rescue talks and within days may come up with a package to rescue the Phoenix. There is a fear of player exodus. Remember, Sarah Pesos has failed to pay some of his bills and some of his checks have bounced in recent years. And finally, out of China, there is renewed talk about currency reform, that is, allowing the yuan to appreciate against the US dollar. That, of course, would be good for our exports, already booming to China. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the BNZ.